Uh, what's up guys, welcome to another video of ours. You're probably wondering why my ugly brother isn't sat next to me. Um, he's That's been... right, you look the same. <laughs> Yeah, but this is, a, oh, this is a joke I've had that's going with my brother for a while. We used to call each other ugly when we were younger to get back at each other and we realised we were twins, so um, it didn't take us that long to realise we were twins. But no, Nate's not here today. Um, he's been replaced indefinitely. He's not coming back. No, he might make a comeback one day. Who knows? But um, maybe that's for another video. But yeah, this is uh, my girlfriend. Um, I don't know if you want to introduce yourself. A first day fiancé. <laughs> oh, she, I hate that word fiance, I can't stand it when people use it, so I never use I know, it, I just I use, I use, um, I use girlfriend or missus if you're with, out with the lads, you know what I mean, you, that's what you do, but um, I hate that word, you hear people saying in the coffee shop, oh my fiance, just sounds like, I don't know, just sounds upper class and I'm definitely not upper class, I'm, you know, working class definitely, so, um, don't know if you want to introduce yourself, like I said. Yeah, so, my name's Louise, as Daryl just said, um, you're probably wondering from the thumbnail why it says the third twin. I'm not a third twin with Daryl and Nathan, because that would just be weird. <laughs> yeah, but that's, all, that's have, obvious though, yeah. And you can't have... You can't have three twins. No, no, no. You, it's like when people say two twins. Well, no, they're just twins, aren't they? But then I've got my own twins. So I've got a twin brother. We're both 26. Unfortunately, she hasn't got a female twin sister, which, you know, I always said to her, if you did and you were getting on my tit or getting on my nerves, I'd trade you in for her or whatever. But That's like me saying I'll trade you in for Nathan. Yeah, but I'm, I'm the better twin of my brother, so you're already winning. You've got, you're just going to be <laughs> downgrading, aren't you? Sure. So, yeah, I've got a twin brother and we still get asked today, oh, are you both um, identical twins? And it's really hard saying to someone, you can't get an identical boy and girl. Yeah. I mean, we might to be fair, like people don't other. people don't really know that though, do they? I don't think I really knew that to be fair, but you, yeah, you can't have an identical um, set of twins that are not the same sex. So. Yeah, so you know, you'll learn something new on this channel every day, even if it's basics, general knowledge, you'll get there. So um, we're just taking our normal Saturday. Um, Lou's always helped out with the YouTube and stuff and that, and. Um, and it's something Lou wanted to explore from a sense that she's got some other topics one day she'd like to talk about and I think she just wanted to give it a try really. I think it's something we've always, she's always seen me get on YouTube. I enjoy making YouTube videos, I, I, I do, but um, it's something she's always wanted to get involved with but never really taking the plunge because it's quite nerve wracking. Like Lou can talk for, for whales, she can talk to anyone, she'll stop in the street and talk to a bloke with a dog. It's probably because got the bloke's probably got a dog but... <laughs> The fact she'll just talk and talk to people, random people, is fine. Um, she doesn't walk around like the streets speaking to random people, just like in general. Yeah, and I don't walk around talking to myself either. No, she doesn't talk to herself because <laughs> she'd get pretty bored that quick. But um, yeah, so she just joined me on the video. Thought you know, it'd be quite good to get her on camera. Event finally, because I don't think she ever been on camera before. So I have promised you for about two years as well. Yeah, yeah, but you just, the thing, is, the thing is, you always, with the YouTube channel and stuff, you got to stay consistent, you got to keep uploading, and that's one of my targets, is to think, because I do actually enjoy doing it, the problem I've had the past few years, since I started YouTube, is the, the time-consuming um, aspect of it, because I live in Bristol during the week, I've only got a computer back in Cardiff that um, I can edit the videos on, so I can only edit on the weekends, and then I haven't seen Louise all week, so it means then i got a film on a Saturday, which should take all day with my brother, and I gym, and I try and eat all eat my full day as food of eat and stuff. Yeah. And then I'd have to see spend time with Louise, and then Sunday, I mean, packing all my stuff back up, ironing all my shirts for work, and then going back. And the cycle of that was just ridiculous. So now lockdowns come down, I've enjoyed like having a bit more free time to myself, like all the stuff. I'm like not having to iron shirts for work, and now I have to pack all my stuff back um, on a Sunday to go back to Bristol for a Monday. So. Um, it's been quite nice, so um, like I said, it takes you a normal Saturday. Um, we say normal. Normal, I say it's not really normal, yeah. Lockdown. <laughs> yeah, lockdown is a bit. Yeah, I'm not really struggling. I think Lou's struggling more than me with lockdown, really. It's just it's getting a bit repetitive now, but like I said, we'll try and keep the video, um, some aspects of the video, different to what I've done before. So, like I said before, um, I was watching one of the Rob Lipset's videos and he was like, I'm sorry, I'm struggling to think of content now, and it is true. Like you, because you, you're in such a routine with um, lockdown, you get one hour's exercise a day, or whatever. After we're training in the house, and then we're going for our 10k steps. So um, it, it does get repetitive, but we'll try and mix it up a bit as much as we can. Um, be able to see some of the food we eat during the day, etc. So um, yeah, it's actually like 12 o'clock now or something. 
oh, it's one o'clock now, we still haven't eaten breakfast. So we've done the morning, on Saturday we get up to go to Tesco's early, um, battle everybody else for um, groceries and stuff. So um, it's not the best. Is it? No, it's not the best because people still not stick into the two meter rule. Um, literally within thirty seconds of being outside Tesco, I was angry. I'm not an angry person. I just thought, you know, some idiot went right past me. Literally brushed past me with a trolley, not with the trolley, but himself. And just some people just haven't got a clue. I think people think they're invincible. And trust me, I've had my dad had coronavirus. Um, few weeks back and he's still recovering now um, and that's pretty scary thinking that you, cause you knew you got taken into hospital so um, that was a scary thing I wasn't really too bothered and then when the paramedics came to my house uh, my parents house sorry I started to wonder um, you it's know a like close to home, it's a bit too close to home and you start to think because you start to think will I ever see him again if he goes in hospital because that's the reality of the situation is if somebody goes into hospital coronavirus they may essentially not come out. So that was one of the scary things. So when I go shopping now, that's the first thing in my mind is if I get um, if I get coronavirus, I might not see the people I love and et cetera, my friends and family, if I end up getting it. So, you know, people need just to be a little wiser and stop, and people need to stop going out and having parties. Like, it's so frustrating. It's frustrating, it? it is, yeah. Well, I don't know what your opinion is on it, but it is annoying. Isn't it? Yeah. And I think it's not going to last forever. To be honest, probably when we go back to work and, you know, I normally leave the house seven o'clock in the morning into work for half seven. After work, straight to the gym. Don't get home till half seven, at least. Yeah. And I think how I'm going to go back and doing that when we've not done it for so long, I think I will struggle. And, you know, it's, a, it's almost adapting back to our normal way of life, which we pretty much did all the time without even thinking about it so yeah. you know it's nice to finish work now for five o'clock when we actually finish and be in the house and you're home aren't and you? you're home don't have to get on the train and you know the commute back home where you're you know sardines on the train when oh, you know, get yeah. home it's it's all those little things really that i think because i'll explain to people is all these little things like mount up in the day so like you know ironing your stuff for work traveling to work you know preparing your lunch for work. That's like, if you just take like day, Monday to a Tuesday, for example, you've got, I say I'm in a shirt, you've got prepping your lunch, you've got traveling to work. That's probably two hours out of your day. That's just consumed by planning going to work. It's almost like doing stuff to go to work and you're not actually in work yet, which is the lockdown. That, that is one of the plus sides of in mm. lockdown um, is that, isn't it? Well, I mean, on a Sunday for us, you know, especially because you go back to Bristol. On a Monday. Yeah. On a Monday. A Sunday for us, I, well, it's normally I dread. We yeah. do the food shop normally or, you know, at least get some stuff in for ourselves. And then yeah. the time we've come home, seen family, done the washing and all the house chores and all the other stuff, it's, oh my God, it's six o'clock, you're going back to Bristol in the morning. Yeah, so, it's Monday, you know. And it's Monday, it's back to work, and then it's almost like a back on the conveyor belt and back doing the same thing again. So I really think it has been a chance, a reflective time. Yeah, you, you do. do uh, we all do too much. Yeah, we think. all do, yeah. I think Britain especially is quite a you know fast pace. We go to on holiday to Greece quite often. Sorry, I was going to say, um, the Britain's quite a fast paced nation, isn't it? So. Um, uh, it's for strings. We go to Greece on holiday quite often, and you notice you could. It's, I wouldn't call them lazy because that's not fair. It's chill. It's chill. They take the the work life balance is a lot better in um, those kind of countries. I think in Europe. Um, I'm not saying that Greece that Greece has got a great economy to back their reasonings behind their relaxed um, kind of vibe over there, but um, that's for a different that's a different discussion but no um and it'll probably deviating off course here but yeah no we, so we did the food shop this morning we're absolutely starving because I, I keep saying that while i'm actually starving but i am starving because well, we come back and we wash everything so we had done the food hall but we have to get straight back in the fridge in the freezer because we take it all out of the garden disinfect it all with wipes because I'm, I'm a bit ocd clear cleanliness i do all the door handles and everything all the car wear gloves mask before you say, why do you wear gloves at the supermarket? Because I don't want to touch anything with germs on it. And they go, well, you're just spreading the germs. No, I disinfect my hands with the anti back wipes and the gloves. So don't worry, I've got it down to a T. So like I said, we come in, disinfect everything, stick it straight in the fridge. If we did a food haul, 
oh, they call it a food hall, kind of H A U L. Yeah. Um, we'd um, have the same thing every week. The same, thing, <laughs> same, same thing every week. But the fact is, all the stuff needs to go back in the fridge. It's already been out of the fridge for over twenty minutes, and that's kind of the rule in it. So by the time we set up the video, filmed it all, it would be you know, it would be it shouldn't be putting it back in the fridge. So um, yeah, we did the the. Um, food shops more and that's all done which I'm relieved I feel a sense of relief after that and then as we clean all the stuff up the the kind postman came um I was annoyed yesterday so I had two packages coming yesterday that um we missed because we went out for a walk at lunch I stayed in all day for the packages and missed it at lunch but um I found the postman um yesterday um I'm back on his round and he said he was going to drop them in today as a favor he didn't have to so thank you so um, no, hats off to that bloke, such a nice guy. Um, we were going to give him an Easter egg, but um, we thought he obviously going to know that we're just palming off Easter eggs on him. So um, when he comes back around next, we gave him a nice big bar of chocolate or something. He was a kind guy. He didn't have to come around today and give us the parcel. Um, he just stuck it in his trolley and it was actually scheduled for delivery on Monday. So um, yeah, what he delivered was um, two Apple Watches. Um, they are the Series 3, we can't afford the uh, Series 5, <laughs> and they've stopped making the Series 4, so... Um, no, in all honesty, I, the reason I haven't bought one yet is because I've been toying with the idea between the Series 5 and the Series 3. I was going to get a Series 4, but a lot of sites, they're sold out, because um, they don't make them anymore for some reason. Um, but yeah, they, they said, I went for the Series 3, one, because I could get two for the price of one of the... Um, I think I got these for £416 for two. Um, the 42 mm um, it's not. It's just the GPS one, not the um, cellular. Because the cellular one is the one with the um, you make calls and stuff like oh, okay. that, which is not really what I want it for. So yeah, we've got a Series Three watch each, which is good because we've become obsessed with doing 10k steps. I've always been obsessed with tracking macros and uh, on my fitness pal and um, tracking my steps and calories burned, etc. So. Um, I should have bought one of these years ago and I just kept putting off and putting off. But now Lou's kind of got into the whole 10k steps with me. We kind of thought it was a good idea. And for £400 for two of them, you can't really go wrong. And I didn't want a Fitbit because I just don't like Fitbits. I don't know why. Um, I'm a bit of an Apple fiend. People go, well, you're just paying for overpriced stuff. But I don't think everyone in the world who buys Apple is just buying Apple for the sake of it being Apple, is it? Really? No, and I suppose, you know, we've... The only thing we've been buying really is food. We've yeah, been we just, saving a bit a month and yeah. just general like travel expenses and things like that. So. Yeah, yeah. So for you know, so I, I class this as a small investment. Really, that's an investment. We're not going to get a return on it, but the return Keep for us. us occupied. Is, is the, yeah, no, that's the return. Really, is being occupied. So um, yeah, we're going to open these up um, in a minute. Um, like I said, just had them come through the post now. So. Um, we're going to open them up, have a look at them, get them going, and um, yeah, eat some breakfast because we're pretty starving. We always share the breakfast with you because it's the same old breakfast I have every day. It's chocolate oats with banana on top, and I've put that in my bass two video, so um, nobody wants to see that anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I've got some new cocoa powder. Too. Yeah, we've got some new cocoa powder come from my... We learnt that the Aldi one had um, <laughs> apparently some... Some poisonous additive inside the um, it's okay, we've been eating it every day for the last two years or something. Yeah, <laughs> we are every day for the past two years, but like I said, I'm not going to read too much into that. It's just these weird vegan and hippies people online just trying to bash every ingredient, unless it's organic and being shot through a fox's ass. People don't, um, oh. <laughs> people don't want it, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, so we're gonna eat some breakfast, open the washes up, get them charged, and we are going to go out and walk. For a walk, not just to test them out. We're not taking them for a test drive, but <laughs> we go for a walk most days anyway. So, um, and I usually yeah. beat down on the steps because yeah, I have were, smaller be, legs. Yeah, short, to... stumpy legs. So you know, I have to because I walk. My strides are further. I have to walk a further distance to get my ten k so steps. So I hit my ten k or more and go home and leave go home. Them. I have to stay out for another like twenty minutes trying to finish them off. So yeah, right. I'm gonna eat these. Eat the watches? No, I'm gonna. It'd be a waste of time. <laughs> no, we're gonna have some breakfast, open the watches up, see what they're all about, get them set up, and yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next clip. Right, let's 
cooking time again. Um, we're prepping our dinner. We haven't actually had lunch yet, but we prepped this beforehand because it's better to marinate the chicken in it. So we're making Greek chicken, so souvlaki chicken. Um, it's not the most healthiest method of cooking chicken, as you can just do a plain in the pan with a bit of spray, but it's so bland and horrible. And it's Saturday and we fancy something different. So it's actually quite low calories, the marinade. It's really basic to make. So if you take 600 grams of chicken, you grab various spices here, shitloads of um, garlic and a bit of um, white wine and you get a souvlaki chicken. I took the recipe offline, off, offline. I got the recipe online and I took it offline. Um, it's just down on my notepad with various stuff like protein pancakes and stuff I put in there. Um, we just blend it with a neutral bullet so you stick all the ingredients in. What I'll do on the screen is I'll do a step by step on the screen with some nice chill out music for you over the top and I'll tell you exactly how to make it. So um, this is really good marinade. Like I said, there's only the, only the bad things in there really the wine. There's 20 grams of wine and 15 grams of olive oil. The rest of the stuff is just seasoning, so there's nothing really. So when you when you boil that down to two people, there's 15 grams of olive oil and the 20 grams of um, wine well, actually equates to hardly any calories. So I wouldn't really worry about it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to, I've prepped up some chicken mini fillets here. I've taken all the um, cartilage out of the middle. Um, we prefer to eat those than chicken breasts because chicken breasts just don't, I just don't like them anymore. They're just chewy and horrible. So that's, they're the best for the mini fillets. Um, yeah, so we're just going to crack this out now. Like I said, I'll do a step by step on the screen. And this will be our um, dinner tonight. So I'll show you the, um, I'll show you the finished article once we've blended it all up and stuck it, the marinade and the chicken. dinner for tonight it smells absolutely amazing to be honest we haven't had this for a while and i forgot how incredible it smells so put that in the fridge now um and then we'll have that later on tonight with a greek salad and some rice um and just pretend that we're in santorini or mykonos when really we're not um we're about to do a leg workout now um haven't done legs for a while i've been taking up running so I've been having a few injuries with my um, ankle and my knee and then God knows what. So yeah, they haven't done well leg session I don't think since Easter, which was about three weeks ago. So probably gonna be in agony tomorrow. Um, I actually stumbled across these when on a lunch break in work, I was absolutely starving. So I just ran to the co-op and just thought, God, I just need something that's gonna just tied me over for the afternoon and oh my god they're absolutely amazing so they're my protein um layered cake bars and they are birthday cake flavor and as they say treat without the cheat and oh my god they are literally like a, a birthday cake in a bar absolutely incredible one of the nicest bars i've ever tasted and yeah just tastes like a birthday cake so just had one of those now and let's get the slag work out of the way
the um, leg workout. Well, I said finished the leg workout. I kind of went for a, a brisk walk around the park, uh, about 29 minutes worth. So I've got my steps in today. So I thought, you know, I'd make an effort. It's kind of the only day really this week I'm not going to get 10,000 steps in. But you know what? It's water under a bridge. I've smashed my legs um, just a minute ago. Um, they're absolutely throbbing now, especially after the walk. So I have a post workout shake. I say it's a shake, it's more like a. It's almost like a frappuccino without the coffee, if that even exists, but I'll show you anyway, it's pretty epic. Um, it tastes so good. Like, like for me, I'm currently watching what I eat and stuff, so I'm kind of tracking my calories. So don't just slam a protein shake into water and then just knack it back. There's no point. Maybe you'll make something that's slightly higher in calories, slightly higher in calories, and then just you know, enjoy it. Like This is like a bit like an ice cream. I'm not going to say it's Ben and Jerry's because, you know, there's a disclaimer here, there's no Ben and Jerry's here, but this is a really nice thing. We have this with coffee sometimes, so instead of the um, the, the amount of milk we've got here today, we back off the milk a bit and push, put um, a cold brew coffee in there, and it's really nice. So, um, we want to start with one cup of um, ice. I'm only working in cups because I just am, it's easy to measure stuff in. If you want a conversion, just go into Google, one cup of ice will convert easily on Google. So, slam that in your... Um, Neutral bullet. You're literally, uh, I think, yeah, so this is a third cup of water, cold water. This is half a cup of milk. Right, this is stuff I'm adding in myself because that's just what I want. So it's just five grams of um, creatine in this. I can get it quickly. That's five. I'm going to put in five grams of this also. This is cocoa powder just to make it extra chocolatey. I'm obsessed with this stuff, so. Not the poisonous one. Not the poisonous one from Aldi. Um, and then obviously the protein. I'm going to go for 40 grams today because I'm quite behind on the um, protein, so 40 grams in there. Don't worry, I'll crack it. Um, I think that's everything, yeah. And then literally stick your thing on. Blitz it slowly first. Just give a few blitzes and then you know, smash it then right at the end. We did use cow's milk, so you know, no cows were harmed or anything. Don't worry, you hippies. We do use almond milk, but I think this is much better, more creamy with the dairy milk from them cow. So yeah. So I said blitz it a little bit first. the mint one so i didn't say it's chocolate mint and that tastes absolutely epic that tastes like after eight chocolates if you're in the uk you know what that is if you're in the us you won't or the rest of the world maybe you do i don't know but i smash this now i'm gonna make one for lou as well so honestly give it a try it's amazing i'll put her calories up on the screen if you're curious i said don't just slam it in some water it's horrible protein shake sometimes you just slam it in water and just neck it if you're getting stuff like um, chocolate mint, just enjoy the flavour, like make it into like some sort of like dessert. Like, that's probably, I don't know, 200 calories or something. It's probably even less than that, so I'll pop the calories up on the screen and you'll know what they are. So I'm going to chug this now and then make some Greek chicken. What's up? It is, uh, God, it's dinner time now. I'm absolutely spent today. I feel really tired. I've already had breakfast today and an apple as a snack. I had a pre-workout before my leg workout, so I'm actually starving now. Um, oh, I said that, that post-workout shake also. So this is the Greek um, meal we have. Here's the um, Greek salad we usually have, and then here's the Greek chicken. We've gone for vegetable rice, not really authentic Greece, but, um, but we usually have this with pitas or like, um, chip, like chips in the active fryer, but because I'm on a diet, it's easier to track the rice and chicken and this stuff as well so um we're gonna chow down and enjoy this we're gonna watch gangs of london after this um so 
I don't know, just gonna enjoy this, pretend we're on a holiday when we're not, and um, yeah, um, we have some snacks watching Gangs of Under, I think, so plenty of calories to work with. Just watching some um, Gangs of London. Uh, what an epic series this is, to be fair. Very violent. Really. Yeah, Lou's getting a bit, um, what's it called? <laughs> well, pent up about the um, how violent it is. But no, to be fair, I like violence and action series, but this Gangs of London is like, literally savage. The one scene I think took four days to film the really violent scene. Um, I won't give you any ideas if you haven't seen it, but. Um, Wherever you're tuning in from, if you can get access to Gangs of London, this new TV series, I'd definitely recommend, def definitely recommend it. It's up there with Ozark, Breaking Bad and all those, so they're my kind of thing. It's almost so. like a modern day take on Peaky Blinders, isn't it? Yeah, it's a modern day take on PE Blind. It's really, really good. Really yeah. savage. If you if you're squeamish, then you don't want to watch it. But it's there's literally... a lot of the same characters as Peaky Blinders too. So we keep recognising people, thinking where have we seen them from, and I do think. There's a few um, characters from Game of Thrones and stuff. Yeah, yeah, there's a really good, there's well known uh, actors and stuff on from IMBD and stuff. If you have a gander on some of them. Um, really good series, really well thought out. Um, and we were even more excited last night that we, on one of the episodes, was um, filming in Cardiff, wasn't it? Yeah, it's funny that they, they, in one of the scenes, they were filming in Cardiff and it wasn't actually meant to be Cardiff, so it was meant to be um, an arcade in London, but we noticed one of the, lo and behold, it was a food shop or a sandwich shop in the background, so. Um, no, that was pretty salad bar. A salad bar, yeah. So that was quite interesting to see. It must be cheaper to film in Cardiff than London or something. But we're just going to chow down on some snacks. I've got um, low calorie popcorn. Low calorie wine, if that exists. <laughs> low no, calorie. Low it calorie was the popcorn. last of the bit we had the Greek chicken. So yeah, we use a bit of. Um, small bottle. Yeah, like Lou said, some small amount of uh, white wine in the Greek chicken. Um, it's going to go to waste. It's funny enough, lose track and she's with her calories. So, you know, that's what the flexible eating, the flexible diet, and you should be able to, especially on a Saturday, you don't have to be so super strict and eat boring chicken and rice. You can you can make it flavoursome, and as long as you track it in your calories, you can eat wherever you like. You can eat McDonald's if you like for a whole week, as long as you don't go over your calories and you still exercise and stuff, you'll be fine. But lose having some um, Man, wine and. Um, the smallest bag of. More pizza buttons, your Emma Oh no, that's, that's pretty shocking. It so that's the first that's the first bit of our Easter eggs we're actually eating. To be honest, we still got a whole batch of them in the corner of the living room that we still haven't even touched. So um, I promise you, if I get down to one ninety pounds in weight, I'll have a cheat meal. So this morning I weighed in one nine one point four. So I'm hoping to get off one point four pounds by next Saturday morning, and then once you get that. We'll have a cheat meal, I'll probably go for a Domino's and some cookies and ice cream. So, um, yeah, I've got some um, fake um, Greek yogurt here, some Aldi rip off. They don't know the meaning of. Um, following the Greek theme tonight. Yeah, following the Greek theme. Some pineapple in there, pie and protein. I've smashed my protein too. My calories are perfect, so they nearly bang on. The popcorn has a way out as well. Um, so, you enjoy this, finish um, two episodes probably of Gangs of London, and then Lou will probably be asleep by then. So, I'll, I'll try watch my him. best to, uh, to watch two. Yeah, so. I can't make any guarantees. <laughs> no, no, she, Lou tends to fall asleep pretty early. So, we're going to get this um, watched and um, enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you going to do the honours? Well, if you like the video, we we'll like it. And if you want to just subscribe. Subscribe. I can't say it. No, no, it, yeah. If you like the video, no, if you want, if you find the video interesting or you liked it, hit the like button at the bottom and don't forget to hit the subscribe button also. It goes far. If you can do that, it'd be amazing. And um, yeah, hopefully, guys, keep you um, um, keep you interested in our videos. We'll try and upload as often as we can. And um, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video.